Alright guys, welcome to a brand new video. Uh, first of all, I'm going to address the title of this video. No, using a controller is not cheating. Uh, it's not in any way similar to having aimbot. But it has become a very big topic uh, that people have been discussing in the Fortnite community lately. And it was a question that I never really got in my chat that often. But recently I've had a lot of people coming in my chat saying like, Oh, what's your opinion about aim assist? Uh, which, is, by the way, is a super broad question. Um, so I figured I'd make this video so that I don't have to then ask the person in my chat to specify their question. And then once they specify it, answer it by talking for like in a minute or two on stream uh, when I could just be playing or when I could just be linking them uh, this video. So this, this is, uh, th that's the reason why I'm making this video. The first thing I wanted to do is kind of specify that I'm pretty much just talking about using a controller on PC. That is because you can play with stretch res, you can turn shadows off, you can play at whatever resolution you want, uh, and you additionally get more uh, aim assist. Apparently it's a thing for PC games when you plug in your controller. It's, uh, it, it's similar in Destiny 2 where you get more aim assist because you have more uh, frames per second. Um, so I don't really think aim assist even, is even debatable on console. I feel like in terms of, of, of gameplay, I was never really impressed by watching any console gameplay um, in terms of, uh, you know, top console players until I saw them plug in a controller on PC. You know, they got to play on stretch res or they got to play with shadows off, motion blur off, whatever it may be. That's when it like when I saw Aiden, when I saw all these other people. Um, I was like, this, this literally looks like PC gameplay, like mouse and keyboard gameplay, except for they're using a controller. So I don't even think it's debatable that, you know, people on console have an advantage. Because even if, just imagine that the, the aim assist was the same as it is on PC when you when you plug in a controller. You still have to play with motion blur. You're still limited to 60 FPS, which is like one third to one fourth of what a lot of PC players play on. Um, you have to play with shadows on. I'm pretty sure I just mentioned that, but I wanted to make sure um, I, I, I mentioned it because it is pretty significant. So it's like, it's not even close, but it, it, where you can kind of bridge the gap is when you're using a controller on PC. So the first thing, which is a common misconception that people have about PC players who sometimes complain about controller, is that it, they don't even necessarily think that it's super duper easy to use a controller. Um, the, the main reason they're frustrated is just that they're, you're using a completely different input device. And a controller is an input device that sacrifices mobility, you know, range of motion, something you know that, that a mouse would have, mouse and keyboard would have, in turn for, you, you know, you have more aim assist, right? Because you can't aim that, well. like if there was no aim assist on console, it would be terrible. Like go into a game of Call of Duty and try to shoot your own teammates. And that is a very good reference as to what console games or controller games would be like with zero aim assist. And to be quite honest, it would be a big steaming pile of trash. And I would never suggest that you get, a, get rid of aim assist entirely. Um, but when you're playing right as a PC player and you're playing against someone with a controller and you just get down into a raw one-on-one -on -one gunfight, you're using a mouse like 90% of PC players, 95% of PC players, but this dude is using a controller and throw out the window the fact that, you know, anything might have an advantage over the other thing. It's the fact that you're using a completely different device to aim. Um, a very good example would be when I played Destiny tournaments. If you guys didn't know, I played Destiny uh, quote unquote competitively and I would practice for tournaments and Dr. Lupo, who's now a very popular streamer, used to stream this game as well. He was fairly popular in that game as well, but that doesn't really matter. The point was he would practice for these tournaments and when I'd play his team, he would use a mouse and keyboard with a Zim. And due to a few things that I won't really explain, using a mouse and keyboard on that game was kind of trash. You couldn't move very fast. The set, there's lots, lots of uh, you know limit, limitations on your sensitivity the game was 30 FPS it just did not feel good with a mouse and keyboard uh, from a lot of people that I've heard that use Zim and it was really frustrating when I died to him because I'm over here you know competing with a controller against people with a controller and then now I'm in gunfights with someone that's using something completely different so if the dude outguns me it's not even really a direct measure of gun skill because I'm using a joystick and throw out the window the fact that he's using a mouse and keyboard which is considered to be a superior you know aiming device the fact that he's just using something different than me is frustrating because there's no gauge of, of skill it's like I'm using this he's using a completely different thing so you can't really compete head-to-head -head with that it's 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 it, it 
it was very irritating at the time and it's a similar thing that people feel in Fortnite where um, they're using a mouse the other person is using something completely different and the controller like I said sacrifices that mobility right it sacrifices speed you have to you move slower your sensitivity overall has to be slower um, but because you know aiming in a game like Fortnite especially with how long distance to medium distance engagements can be they have to add a lot of aim assist so when you're getting down to a gunfight like pretty close quarters medium to close range um, you know a lot of times there's going to be a lot of help that is granted by aim assist especially when the person is spamming ADS so if, if you you know as a PC player get in a fight and the other dude is just sitting there spamming ADS and he kills you that's why they're frustrated it's because you're not using the same thing they are and obviously you're not gonna be forced to because of the, the support controller on PC but I'm kind of trying to, to explain like where that frustration comes from. As I said though, I don't think you need to nerf aim assist and I wouldn't want aim assist nerfed. The only potential thing that I would feel most controller players would agree with uh, is, is nerfing the ability to just spam ADS because if you're going controller player versus controller player, one person ADS is normally in it, you know, is going for the skill shot, right? Aiming with their thumbs and the other person is just sitting there, you know, ADS spamming and you get outgunned by quote unquote outgunned by them. I would assume that would be frustrating and when I brought that up in my chat it seemed like a lot of uh, controller players or console players agreed with that um, and they're quite supportive of getting rid of uh, just blatantly ADS spamming over and over um, obviously you shouldn't get rid of that initial lock that you get when you when you ADS the first time but just getting rid of the ADS spamming is a thing I feel like a lot of console players uh, can agree with removing I think the main reason people want it is just because it kind of bridges the gap a little bit closer between mouse and keyboard and controller but in terms of just like straight up you know console right controller versus controller uh, I would imagine most people wouldn't want that to be a thing the last thing I wanted to cover which is something I see on Twitter a lot is something that a lot of controller players or console players say to PC players any PC player uh, that brings up like the ADS spamming or, or you know aim assist in any ways they say like oh if you ever if you ever get outgunned by someone with a controller then that means you're just a bad PC player um, it, which is not really a good argument to make because they get people like Shroud or like Tifu or like Stormin from H1Z1 and they use these people as an example uh, to highlight what everyone's aim on sh PC should be like but they don't understand that the reason you know those people's names in the first place is because of how exceptional their aim is compared to other PC players. So just hopping on PC, you know, within three months, your aim is not going to be anywhere close to that. In fact, it's probably not going to be anywhere close to that even after like a year of playing. Maybe if you did like Kovacs aim trainer, like 40 hours a day, I know that's not mathematically possible. Um, if That's like the only way. So like just because someone plays on PC doesn't mean that their shot is going to immediately be 95% accurate at all times and just because someone on PC complains about aim assist doesn't mean your cop out is to just tell the person to go play CSGO uh, to get their aim better because it's not a very good argument uh, to refute against their point with their point is just that you know aiming aiming should come down to aiming right there should be aim assist but spamming ADS is not a very good mechanic to have uh, in a game where you're competing against other people. Very quickly summarizing my points in this video, the main reason PC players talk about aim assist or tweet something making fun of aim assist is simply because they're frustrated when they die to someone using a completely different input device. Um, the second thing is that just because someone plays on a mouse doesn't necessarily mean that aiming, you know, like Shroud, like Tifu, like, you know, uh, for example, Stormin from H1Z1 does not mean that's a guaranteed and that anyone that hops on PC is automatically just going to have ridiculous aim because that is um, that is developed over like many, many years of playing very aim intensive games like CSGO, um, Overwatch, wh whatever it is, right? Um, and, and just because you hop on PC and you've been playing for a year, your aim is not going to be like that. Um, the third thing is that I don't think aim assist should be removed. I think it's a necessary part of the game. But for the sake of having controller versus controller engagements come down to the person actually aiming on the person's head rather than just spamming ADS, I do think that the ADS spam uh, nerf that they implemented recently uh, was well warranted. And, and even though you know it might separate the gap a little bit further between controller players and PC players, just because that was a, a really useful tool to have, at least when it comes down to like you know console solos, um, you're not gonna die to someone who was sitting in a bush just spamming ADS, you know, triple headshotting you with an AK. Um, you know from nowhere that like a dude with two kills um, that just doesn't know how to aim the last thing is that controller players are put at a absolute disadvantage when it comes to building editing and just overall movement 
So the fact that they have extra aim assist and it's relatively easy to aim in the game uh, is not a completely ridiculous thing to have. And when I was playing console, when I visited home for TwitchCon, I played console. I hadn't touched it in a year. Previously, I'd played it for like eight, nine years. My aim was fire. I was melting people, but I could not edit. I was terrible at editing. I couldn't build. My movement felt, felt, I felt super congested because of how slow I was forced to move uh, because I was forced uh, to the constraints of a joystick sensitivity and um, it just it was very difficult and I, and I have respect for people that use a controller because it is hard and uh, in relative to PC I would not say it's easy or harder um, it's just you're, you are put at disadvantages um, obviously when you're playing at the highest level it is advantageous to use a mouse and keyboard um, but just because mouse and keyboard you know you can perform at a there's a higher performance cap doesn't necessarily mean uh, that just hopping on PC is, is some super easy thing to do and that whoever hops on PC is gonna be good because that is also not the case um, and, and like I said it's not the case for, uh, with console either so I hope you guys enjoy the video um, if you have any opinions on this uh, if you want to let me know your opinion leave it in the comment section down below also I stream on twitch pretty much every day at twitch.tv slash sir Demetrius uh, my supporter creator code is just sir D S I R D. Um, really appreciate you watching the video if you stuck around to the end I know this went to 10 minutes if you look at my past videos whenever I make commentaries I make a point to keep them under 10 minutes like I'll cut it short at like 9 minutes and 50 seconds so I didn't make this to 11 minutes for the ad revenue because January you make no money on YouTube anyways so I honestly could not care so maybe you do get extra ads maybe I get extra money I really I honestly do not care at this point <coughs> just kidding I love money Anyways, like I said, I appreciate you watching, and... Duh! It's rewind time. You know, if I control rewind, I would want Fortnite and Marquez Brownlee.